Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out like. We're live now. Hi guys. Hello. Okay, you guys, we got the oven on, so we should probably get started. Can we get started? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What are we going to say? We're, we're making these. Great. Little clay. Little clay. clay. Well, it's going to look like this. Like yeah. ornaments and garlands? Yeah. Is that what they are? Is that what we're making today? So beautiful. Yep. Yeah. So and can we get one and whatever it is. That's a tassel. Yes. All right. So. Hello. Hi. Today we are making, uh, we are using our cookie cutters to make clay ornaments, garlands, little elements. We use these on presents for Christmas. Um, yeah. I'm going to show you guys how to do them. Um, we're going to paint. They're going to paint on some just to kind of decorate them. I'm going to use um, a couple stencil or a stencil that I have. So mm -hmm. I think will be fun. Nope. And uh, yeah, then we're going to go from there. So this is kind of an example of what I was working on. Um, I showed in a video last night of what I was doing. This is kind of what I was doing. Um, so I will finish assembling this in a little while so I can show you guys the finished, how it looks finished. But yeah, so today we're going to be using Sculpey clay. Okay, so you can use Sculpey clay. This is oven. Uh, you can bake it in your oven. What does it say? 275 uh, for 15 minutes, which is interesting because this one says 275 for 30 minutes. So just read the directions on the package <laughs> because otherwise um, you might overbake or underbake it. So um, please stop. <laughs> so anyway, so it comes, this clay comes in tons of colors. You can, so I just have, I have white here and then I used some of the colors from here. Um, like this was one of the colors that's supposed to be orange, but it kind of showed like a little bit more of a, like a terracotta. And then I mixed some uh, black and white and it kind of made this cool like marble effect, which is fun. Um, and this is just white. And then I mixed a little white with the terracotta and it came up with this like peachy, um, fleshy tone. And then I randomly just made a toadstool mushroom. <laughs> it's so cute. So it doesn't stand up. Okay. Oh, okay. Because I was playing around. All right. So we're going to put this aside because we don't need this right now because it will be annoying trying to roll out this super stiff clay. Stuff. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention that you can use is uh, air dry clay, which you don't have to make in the oven. It's great with like really young kids. Um, yeah, if you guys want to use this, you can. Uh, so this is literally just air dry. <laughs> I think you have to let it dry for like 24 hours or two to three days. Two sweet. Yeah, it literally says drying time is approximately two to three days. <laughs> Good. Okay. So you guys are welcome to use it, but you won't be able to do anything with it for two to three days. <laughs> which yeah, means you're uh, painting it. Okay, which is fine because you guys are going to mess with these, okay? Can, you, can I use one of these? We're not making that. In just a minute. Let's Let me see. if I can figure out how to open it. There we go. Oh. 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 Oh god! So <laughs> my fingerprint. My fingerprint. Okay, so this is what this looks like. It comes in a tub, um, <laughs> and it's literally just air dry clay. So you can, if you take some out, you cannot let it sit out too long. Otherwise, it will dry. So. Okay, you're gonna use parchment because I don't want this mess all over the counter. Do you want to use this, or do you want to use the regular clay? No. You want to use regular clay, okay? So they're just was going off, so I'll have to do it, okay? I'm going to use this. You want to use that one? Okay, let me put the lid on this oh, one so it doesn't dry up, okay? Can I use this? I want these two mix. I'm going to try to use that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to mix these two. Uh, we're not mixing. We're just going to use one. Pick one, please. This one. Okay. It's not working. Okay, now one thing to know about this plate is it's very hard, okay? So you're supposed to knead it with your, hand, with your hands. Um, I do not do that. <laughs> I have a very heavy marble rolling pin that I use. 
Um, but if you want to knead it with your hands, you can. It's just literally, no. It's so hard. All right, watch out, please. Let me get the... Oh, this is not working. This is so hard. Oh, like it's getting stuck around. Okay, okay, this has clay on it. Let me wipe it off. Let me get a towel, okay? Oh, oh I broke it in two. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do it? Oh, that is so hard. Oh, now I broke it in three. <laughs> okay. Let's just try to... Um, okay, now stop. Okay, because you're making you're making this harder for me. Okay. So now watch out so I don't hurt you. Okay. So now I just kind of smash it with my rolling pin. I'm attacking you. Look at my tangle. They're getting. You gotta be careful. I just slammed this on my counter so many times last night. They're using polymer clay and air dry clay. Oh. It broke. This is so hard. Yeah. And we're gonna make little garlands out of it. Okay, what's up? I'm gonna feel this. Oh wow. Oh, oh god. god. Look at those. Alright. Um I'm not gonna use this, but you can rub. Look, you can take this and do that. Ooh. Watch out, and then I'll just roll it real quick. Can I use this no. one? Okay. No, Brooke, Mason, because you know why? What? That clay is so hard. Okay. So now it's kind of smooth. Now you paint. You have so much paint. Wait, me? Now? You have so much paint. No, you have so much paint. Oh my gosh. <laughs> paint. You have so much paint. It's all in the way. I'm trying to show. I'm trying to get this up here. Okay? All right. Mason, give me yours. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna make a toadstool. You're gonna make a, a toadstool mushroom. Mm -hmm. Well, don't you want to make something that can go along with it? Watch out, please. I don't want. Um. Yeah. So, um, what shape do you want to use? What? A gravestone? Okay. Oh, there's some stuff on it. Like some that broke off. Mm -hmm. okay. So you're gonna make a turquoise gravestone, huh? Or teal? Mm -hmm. I believe you're just supposed to cook it in the oven. I don't think it'll work in a microwave. Yeah, no, it just says specifically not to put it in the microwave. No, yes. Okay. What's this? Let's put that aside. Now What's this? um us got clay from last night on it. Okay, stop. Okay, now you want this. Do you want to use a pattern? You want to put a pattern in it or no? Mm, no. No? Okay. Okay, now a lot of questions about I'm just gonna insert my own little cookie cutter and dough thing here because a lot of people uh, have a hard time with some cutters with dough. Can you wait one second, please? I do the Um, I literally asked you to wait. The best way to cut dough, any type of dough, with our cookie cutters is to push down. So you're going to put the cutter on the dough like this, and you're going to push down with your hand like this, all the way down. And then you shake it like this. So you're going to kind of move it around like that. Okay? It will make it a lot easier to get the full shape. Wow. Okay? Dough, especially. Okay, now if there's any anything that's left over because this dough is really rigid, then you can just tap the sides and it will smash it back in. And that's pretty much it. And then we're gonna put our shapes on our toaster, Wait, or I mean our done. oven. I'm not done yet. I'm just, oh, yeah, I still need to make a toaster. Did you want Mason? Did you want to poke a hole in it? Or did you want to leave it like it is? Poke a hole. You want to poke it? Are you going to hang it up? Yes. This will be I'm going to hang it up in my bedroom. That I is air dry. I think that. Okay. Um, so that's what you made, Brooklyn. What did you make? 
Okay, I'm gonna use um, a medical syringe or medicine syringe to poke a hole in yeah. here. We haven't done any other Wednesday, so don't be mad about it. What are you talking about? Talking to the viewer. Down. <laughs> all, all of your fans. Okay, so I poked a hole in it with, with a syringe. Okay. And that will, um, the nice thing about clay is it doesn't expand usually or anything like that. So it just kind of bakes the shape that you see. It will bake, look exactly like that when this it comes out of the Okay. Are you having a hard time? Yeah. Okay. So did you wiggle it like I suggested? Yeah. Okay, so this one came out. This stuff is very sticky though. This gonna work. See? Okay, so are you putting them all right there? Yeah. Okay. This one we're gonna redo because that one looks bad. If you drop that, you will get hurt. Any oh, yeah. It's wet. It's so juicy. It still like it got wet. Hey, Daddy. Okay. Okay. Are you making a toad stool, Mason? Yeah. Gonna make, I'm gonna keep a ball. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm okay. gonna keep there some clay as a ball. Alright, what other ones did we? Look, we did. We I brought some big ones home too. So we got like the crescent and we got the haunted house. Haunted house. Uh -huh. And then we have What's this one? that is a pendant flag. Oh, you know what else I brought? Some, I brought some um grab bag cutters home. If you break my coach school, I will be upset. Okay, stop for a second. Let me show you what else I have. I have a, uh, our tall pumpkins. We look. I, I love them. This is a mushroom. Yep, this is mushroom. Look, we can make a bigger toadstool. Ugh. All these are grab bag. Oh, so. this one is. And this oh, no, is the one that goes. Right. So I'm going to make some So, we've got plenty. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh, things to choose from. I'm going to do the big haunted house. Yeah. I'm going to need more clay. I'm going to do a small one. You're going to what? I'm going to do a small one. Okay, well, which one do you want? Because it's small. Okay, well, I don't know if you have enough clay for that, dude. Or are you yeah, just going to hand mold one? Because I can hand mold one, Mason. I don't want to hand mold one. Look, I have enough clay for Okay, so if you guys are using parchment paper, I love this parchment paper, but it is very slippery. Um, I usually will put like a moistened paper towel or something underneath here to keep it locked onto my counter. I used to have these silicone mats that I love. Yeah. Um, and I, they were actually place mats for my kids. I got them at Target. That's good enough. And I, um, I used to use those a lot, but I can't, I don't know where those went. Those were awesome. Here's some here's some tight stool please. Alright. This is my draw clay. Can I try to two stool clay? It's a stool clay. Oh, oh it's like I made a little house, look. Okay. A tiny little house. Okay. Okay, wait, put your weight on this. There you go. Mommy, yeah. look. I kind of want to keep this because okay. it's like I made a tiny Oh my gosh, look. Look. You may have to redo it. It's kind of like I made a tiny little house. I want to do it. Thank you, I'm actually not going to make a toad stool. I'm going to keep this. But so it's a tiny little. Okay, we're, this is fine. We're going to keep this, okay? Yeah. 
You must just be gentle next time we're pulling it up, okay? I'm gonna keep my house on. Okay. I'm gonna keep both of these hands. Can I hold a lesson? Or can I can I make a tiny little house? I don't know, but just can I have my tools for that? Thank you. All right. Dad said, hi, Brooke and Mason. Who said that? Uh, Mike. Oh. Hey. Daddy. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Thank you. All right. So, <laughs> what should, wait, this is not big enough for the toadstool, Mason, because you kept some. <laughs> you, oh, yeah, that was my ball. It was your what? It was my ball play. Okay, why don't we go sit down for a minute, okay, and I will roll it out. Do you want Do you want to still have your toe stool? Yeah, I just want a little ball. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. I guess that's one thing about going live. I have two platforms now. <laughs> I'm going to see. Oh, the real deal. It's okay. Mason, there's lots of play, dude. You can make a play ball when I'm done, okay? Okay. All right. Mason originally said he wanted a toadstool yeah. or a mushroom. That's good. Which is either way, but we do not have enough room, I don't think, on here. Oh, maybe. Oh my gosh. I might have just the right amount. I'm making a mushroom. <laughs> A lot of times I'll, um, if I'm working with play, I'll kind of turn it over and then you can see it like fall through a little bit, which is good because that will um, get the best shape. Um, and it's not as delicate <laughs> as cookie dough is, but um, yeah, looks good. So we're gonna put that on here with Mason's tombstone and then we'll He's, I guess he's going to paint it later. Right, Mason? Are you going to paint it? It looks so cool. Cool, right? What do you think? Good. Cool. All right. Here we go. What should, what should I make? I'm making a mushroom. Oh, yeah? Mason, I have leftover clay. If you think you can pull yourself together, do you want to come take it? All right. Are you gonna, are you done helping? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. <laughs> okay, Quirky, so what else, should, what shape should I do? Should I do yeah. like a, Mama. are you making a mushroom too? Mm -hmm. Cool. I think I'm gonna try the stencil mm -hmm. in mine and see how it turns out. What do you think? Yeah. What is this called, the stencil? I forgot. Uh, mm -hmm. I think random star stencil. Yeah, if you go on our website, if you search star, which I should probably look it up, but um, if you search a star stencil, then um, this should pop up. But um, yeah. I like you can kind of see like what it looks like. I like fun. So I love these kind of stars. They're like whimsical, kind of perfect for. Um, right now during the for Halloween, I feel like the whimsical, um, lighter colors are kind of in. Um, so I am actually not going to shoot. I don't know what colors to do. Should I do purple? I think you should get, mommy, which one do you Should want? I do purple? Should yeah, I do this is white? Yeah. Which white? So we can do. Oh. oh. So yeah. that stencil is just star background stencil. Star background stencil. Perfect. Okay. So this stencil is called star background stencil in case. You can see it when you want it. I love that pencil so very much. Okay, so I'm just gonna break this yeah. in half. I'm gonna put this other half right here for a second. And then I'm gonna grab some. This one is just white, um, and it's uh, the same kind of thing. Oven bake. It just is a bigger like. There's just more in here. Um, and I love white anyway because white. I feel like you can do a lot with. Um, and the nice thing about it, it comes in like bricks, but it's also like these. 
like it pulls apart kind of. So um, you can use just like just a little bit if you want or the lighter you want the more light obviously you can choose to take. Um, it's kind of like snakes almost. I don't know what it reminds me of something but I can't, I can't quite think of it but it's kind of fun. Just pull off your little whatever pieces you think and then you wrap it back up pretty good so that it does not dry. Because it's rub and dry, but I'm pretty sure the air will dry out. Okay, so I mean, we've done this before, so we're just we're gonna find out how this goes. All right. There's some blue on here. <laughs> Oh, more blue right here. All right. Good enough. We get a little blue. I can pull it. You know what I looked for last night was one of those. Um, do you remember they used to have the like thing with the dough in and you would like roll it? Like play dough? Oh, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I have like a pasta. <laughs> yeah. Thing. Yeah. I looked for one. They don't have that. Hmm. I was like, what? But they've got, I mean, resin is huge right now. So there's so much resin stuff. We plan, I plan to do, Let me look I think we're going to do some resin stuff too for our, our videos. Oh, that's too big. Maybe we'll do like Shavy Kids twice a month and then Shay oh. and Ivy twice a month. Yeah. <laughs> no. Only one thing. Oh. It drops it on the floor. Yeah. Okay. A That's the one thing that um, pasta maker would be nice because it would make it easy. Mommy, look at my clip right now. And... I just moved it. Oh, now it's. Yeah. I feel like it takes so long otherwise to get it to mix. Yeah. But it looks kind of cool. Yeah, like a marble. Mm -hmm. And a marble. Oh, oh no! Clay. Not working. Clay. If Who's this breaks, I'm gonna be mad. Because I love this. Okay, so we're gonna. I'm gonna just do this real quick, and then I'm gonna throw it in the oven, and then we'll finish assembling our bat garland. Okay. So we're not on here all afternoon. This one. Yeah. Because that garden is just one bit. Well, that's just one way, but you got to stop throwing it because you're making it crack, okay? Mm -hmm. But you can tie little knots like that on there, and then you can tie it onto a garland or on a string and make a garland. And there's no right or wrong for garlands, really. It just has to be a garland, like tie it onto it. strings and then hang it above the fireplace, right? On the way to your window. What? Okay, well, you're going to have to wait. I'm not making false stuff right now. Okay. So, let me measure. I'm going to let it have a little bit of. Uh, marble marbling and then I just want to make sure this is big enough here so then I'll put the I'm gonna put the stencil on here like this okay. so the stencils on here like this maybe diagonal make it diagonal so that um, okay, I don't want that right and then we're gonna just roll the Rolling pin. My I don't know if this is gonna work. I've never done this before, so I may have to actually flip this over to make it work. But we're gonna try. It, <gasps> it works. I mean, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Not bad for weaning it. Looks pretty neat, actually. Okay, we're gonna just leave it like that, and then. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it up. It's a really smashed into my, my counter. At all. 
It's so thin. It's a thin little moon. All right. That is pretty neat. Right? So I'm going to show YouTube too. Can I give YouTube some love? Hi. All right. So I'm going to put this on here. I like it. I'm going to poke a hole in it actually in the bottom. Welcome to live chat. I think I'm going to hang some stuff from it. Maybe I'll hang a bat from it or something. Okay. Someone said that storm uh, cornstarch could help with the sticking. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Thank you, Ellen. Oh. What you making? <laughs> it says say something. It says what? <laughs> It says say something right here. That's for the chat. Yeah. Normally we do this stuff on YouTube. I thought I would jump on really quick on live on Instagram just to kind of show you guys what this is about, what we'll what we do on YouTube um, every other week with my kids. Bring your kids along. Um, maybe eventually I'll get to the point where I can kind of preview what we're doing um, so that you guys can join along if you want <laughs> or um, worst cases you see what we're doing and you want to do what we're doing and you can go and get your own supplies. Um, but the whole focus of this is to show different ways using our cookie cutters and not just for cookie dough. You can use them last or a couple weeks ago we did, um, we made cookie, um, what are they called? Cake pops? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was an epic fail, but that's kind of what this is about. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's not perfection. It's fun. It's with my kids. We love, uh, they love to do stuff and I need to make more time um, to be Those making stuff with them. Like and with the holidays coming, mm. it's kind of the perfect time. So we figured we'd start shaky kids and it's just to, all kind of revolves around like kids stuff, stuff with them and things we can make with them. Um, and then maybe eventually Ivy and I, my assistant who is holding the camera and I can mm -hmm. do one, just the two of us and we can do kind of more grown up Mom. style things. Mom. Um, I so. want to say something. How about next Wednesday you guys do it? I want to say something. <laughs> the cake pops were thrown away. Yeah, we did end up throwing them away because there was a lot of them and we never finished them. So, okay. Um, what I was gonna hang. Oh, you know what? Let me do. Oh, I have my bats. I was gonna do something else with the purple clay, but I can do something later. Okay. So for now, I am going to throw these three pieces into the oven. Okay. So um, the directions. So like I said in the beginning. Some of them are different. You have to read the directions on the back of the box. This one, for instance, says 275 for 15 minutes per quarter inch. This one says 275 for 30 minutes per quarter inch. Um, and I mix these two together. So, <laughs> I mean, it's really just about experimenting, I think, and figuring out what works. If you accidentally burn the plate, it's okay. Um, paint over it or whatever. Mason so, just covered it. Make, look what Mason doing. Mason, please stop. <laughs> okay, so we are going to go that in. I'm gonna make a turn. I'm a fly. You go. All right. Now this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. Okay, so they're kind of hard. Okay, you can hear that. Okay, and I just made two pieces and I stuck them together and this stuck together. Um. <laughs> so and then this is what I was showing these. Um. These are marbled. So kind of just for fun. You know what else I thought would be fun, you guys, is we could have taken stamps and put stamps on here and like put RIP. Or I could have brought home the um, stencil that we have um, at that we did for Cookie Cutter of the Month Club. This is RIP, and we could have done that in there. That would have been kind of fun. So we could experiment with these with these quite a bit. Did you want to paint yes. one of them mm -hmm. while I assemble the garland? I I wanna paint my it. ball. It's a tiny baby mushroom. Okay. I don't wanna paint my ball. I want to paint my ball. Okay. I'm putting this to my okay. Hey, wait! It's like the little ice cones. Ice cream. 
made okay. ice cream. I'm going to step away. Alright. Oh, and if you're wondering why my children are home right now, every Wednesday they have half day. <laughs> this is a new thing. It used to be every other, and now it's every week. So that is why they're home. Tomorrow's a half day and the next day. Yes, because you guys realize they're going to fall break, right? And parent teacher conference. Alright, so I'm going to just use some more parchment here on the shelves. It looks good to stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, here's the parchment. Mason, are you going to paint or no? No? I'm going to paint this one. I'm gonna like I'll paint later. Oh. Okay. I'm going to paint a pumpkin. I want to paint. Cool. Okay. Let me uh, grab my stuff and assemble. What in the world? Let me see if I can stretch over my. Okay. So part of the reason we were on so late today is because I could not find <laughs> my hot glue gun. My I have a big hot glue gun. I could not find it anywhere. <laughs> it's the hot glue everywhere. guns are just right there. No, that's my small one. And then I could only find the big hot glue gun glue and not the small hot glue gun glue. So we were hot. So, but then I ended up digging through every single thing I own in my crafting area and I found these straggler um, glues. We talk glue sticks. Okay, so I'm going to try to stretch this across my counter because uh, you definitely don't want to see. Okay, that's good enough. We're going to move this up to this ball, okay? Like where the ball is. You getting your pumpkin stripey? Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, things that you can use yeah. for garland. So, I have a bunch of the years ago, I bought the, these twines. I cannot even remember the company I got them from, but I have, the, I have these in like every color you can imagine. So, I just pulled out the uh, Halloween colors or what I thought was Halloween colors. The only color I'm missing is lime green, which I know I have somewhere in there. But um, so there's black, orange, yellow, and purple. Lime green would be kind of cool, but I don't have that. So you can use these. Um, and that's what I'm using. I'm just using the black and white one. Um, I also found, while I was searching for the hot glue, <laughs> I found these pom-pom um, fringe garlands. This would be so much fun to put these put on here. I thought, like, how cool you could literally hot glue these on. Um, I would probably not use the bats, or if you did use the bats, maybe have them hang down a little bit more. Um, but you could use a bigger yeah, one, like a, a look ghost. At, look at mine. Um, mm -hmm. You can use a ghost like this and kind of let it hang, you know, so like a big, like a bigger one. And they have orange, two, and then white. So I got these, I think, at Joann's. Um, so then um, there's also, I bought these at Michael's. So it's just the ribbons. Sorry, my son is running into everything. So it's just like a bunch of ribbons here. I thought these would be so cool, kind of boho like for any type of garland. Um, Halloween, Thanksgiving would be really nice. Um, Christmas, you could use. I would use like maybe a cream color pom pom or even like this gold velvet is really pretty. So these kind of like endless possibilities here. And then this one I found randomly too, which I thought was kind of pretty. It's like vintage style. I like it. So anyways, those are kind of things. Or you can make your own tassels, which are very simple to make. Um, maybe I'll show you guys how to make one of those things. Just the one I threw together to make sure I remembered how to make them. Um, but figure, let's, so let's see if I can, whoops. Emma Sweet says, Shay, you look awesome. Oh, thanks, Mary. <laughs> okay, so let's put this for here. Okay, now poking holes lies in the clay. When you are cutting it out, obviously there's not going to be any holes in it. So I just oh. used, today I used the syringe, <laughs> like what you would give your kids medicine through. Um, but you can also use like a tiny straw. I, last night, that's what I poked a hole in these with. Um, and so I used a little straw. Um, but sometimes 
Dude, this is cute. Look at this. How cute. Little ghosty. Little ghosty. I don't want to I mean, Ghost uh, Malone. <laughs> I made a pumpkin with stripes. I'm, All right, I'm going to drag this over here. I want to paint this. Oh, I lost a stick. Down. All right, so I want to. I want to paint now. Okay, you're gonna have to wait, Mason, because I'm taking your spot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the easiest way really is just to dab your hot glue on the back behind your little, you know, where where you're putting your um your twine. Holy crap! Yeah. I cannot talk. Okay. You poke a hole, and this is the back of the clay, okay? So I just put the string through and wrapped it around, okay? And then um, I'm going to try, anyway, to put the string back through here, the hole. I don't know if it's going to work. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it. So I put it through and then wrapped it behind and hot glued it, okay? So then when you hold it, it just kind of hangs there. Okay, it looks almost like it's tied on, and that's kind of what I want it to look that's what I want. I want it to look like it's tied on. Um, okay. So anyway, so we're just going to keep. Um, Mommy, I'm going to make this like a red mushroom. Hi, Daddy. Okay, so I'm just going to eyeball the separations here. Mason, please stop. Um, it's not really a science here. Just eyeball it. If it's not perfect, like I'm not going to get out a ruler and be like, oh, you must be four inches apart. It's just kind of whatever. <laughs> okay, and then just wrap it back. The nice thing about hot glue is it dries really fast. So you don't have to wait for it Some to dry. people really like to have all the things in, in their house perfect. Yeah. I mean, I did clean up behind us before we went on. Like, I don't think people really want to see our big mess, do they? God. Yeah, no. they don't. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see here. All right. So I'm not going to add the last bat because I want to have room for a garland or a, I'm sorry, a tassel on here. So um, I just figured I would show you like how to make a tassel really quickly. Oh my gosh, hot glue is so <laughs> Okay, I so I just use like a, the cheap yarn. This is nothing special. It's super saver. Literally, I think this whole thing was like two dollars. And you can get as much yarn as you want. I'm just gonna grab. I don't know. I'm just gonna say like this much is probably good. Okay, I'm gonna um first though move my hot glue gun because I don't want to get hot glue all over everything. Oh, it looks good. Mm hmm. Okay, so let me grab this yarn like and I'm gonna cut it. It's perfect on the screen. Okay. Like way perfect. Okay, now um, sometimes you use like a cardboard square or something, but I'm not using that this time. I'm just gonna use the palm of my hand. So I'm gonna lay the string in the palm of my hand like this. And you can let it hang down just a little over the palm of your hand like this. And then just wrap it and just keep wrapping it. Mommy, is oh, that your Morgan. toadstool? Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> painting my toadstool. For you. I was going to use that toadstool, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, um, so then you just, I'm going to take some of this twine, and before you let go, you can also Google um, how to make um, tassels as well. Um, but anyway, so you wrap it around your hand like I did, okay? And then you just pull it off your hand. I'm letting this hang here. And then you take your twine. Um, and actually, the best way to do it is to fold it, the twine in half. Feed the folded part through the loop here. And then take the ends and put it through the loop like this, okay? So I'm going to do it like that. Okay, so now that's tied. So now you're gonna cut the bottom here, like this. And then I'm gonna cut this piece because I'm gonna use it in a minute. Okay, 
So now you have, it looks kind of like this, all right? Then you're gonna take this piece of yarn because you want it to match your tassel. You don't want it to stand out too much. So you're gonna take this and then lay it like this and then just lay the tassel on top here. Oh my God, it's sticking to me. Okay, and then just tie it in a knot. And then just trim these two little things. Yeah. Actually, you don't have to trim them. Mm -hmm. They just fall back, right back into line with these. Wow. Okay. Another thing you can so do with these blind. is add little black dots for eyes. Um, and you can make a little ghost mm. tassel garland, which would be kind of fun. Um, anyway, so I am going to. Um, Mama, make a loud noise. Like, I'm going to loosen this here. There's like a little green thing. And then. Because I wanted to do it separate from the actual garland. So I'm going to feed, try anyways, to feed this through here so that I can connect it to here. There we go. Okay, and now I can take this off. Oh, what's this? Okay, but I want to bring this in There's closer like to this one. mat, kind of like this one on this side. So it's a little bit close. What is so, what does that mean? I don't know. This is the only part that I probably will eyeball because I want it to look somewhat even. So, I'm going to tie it right there. And then just hope that that's good enough. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to tie it. Tie it in a knot. Mason. Okay. So then. It's all done. <laughs> Look how cute that looks. Isn't that fun? What do you think, Ricky? Good. It's so cute. Isn't that cute? And then you can get kind of really crazy with it, and you can put more tassels in here if you wanted to. Um, you can hang some of these in here, or you can even tie these on here. Oh, Ricky, I'm getting my stuff all in your paint. Hang on. Let me move this. Okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. Anyway, so you can um, probably, like, just tie some these on if you wanted to to make them a little bit more um to give it a little more interest um you can tie more of these twines here like different colors you could even add like if you wanted to add some of these you could add these in here let's see if i can i'm gonna try to do a cat If I can make it. So like you can do it something like this or where it's like kind of two different materials there. Um, so that's super fun. So this turned out really fun. And then what you can do is just tie like these into a loop at the end here. Just tie into a knot. Um, you can tie it like try to get this to go behind that tassel so you can't really see it. Um, but just tie like a basic knot here and just slide it down. So you can kind of try to hide these little pieces. And then that way you have some, you can hang this onto like a command hook or a nail or something like that. Um, so what do you think? Are you just gonna turn up one? So cute. Mommy, this, this live video has been 43 minutes and 50 seconds. Oh wow. <laughs> Look cute on your fireplace, you're on a wall. And For sure, yeah. Um, I have to tell you what, where, what I decided I want to do on my wall for Halloween over there. Um, I'm going to have, gonna get, um, can I finish? Uh, I'm going to have, we have, uh, our big printer, you know, so I'm going to have my, um, I drew out a witch. Actually, I kind of drew a witch. I had Angelina do this. So I traced her face and her hand like this. And then I'm going to, so I'm going to have him print out, print out the sticky. It's like almost like that new wallpaper where it's like this. So um, he's going to print that out. And so it's like, and then I'm going to have him, and then I'm going to have stars and I'm going to cover them in glitter and I'm going to put them all over my wall behind my TV and everything. That's so, so it's like, cool. she's learning like magic. So I'm excited. That's about that. so cool. Should be fun. Yeah. So, anyways, you guys, this is what, we did today. She's still painting hers. Mason gave up on <laughs> painting his. Uh, I didn't even paint mine, but I did make a garland, and I think it I was gonna so paint cute. Mine. What do you think, Mason? You like it? 
I was gonna paint mine. Okay, well, you know what we'll do? You can paint yours and I'll make a little reel or something. Let's do reel. A video. I'll make a little re video of you guys painting your stuff and then we'll open it on Instagram. Okay. But anyways, the whole point of this was just show that cookie cutters can be more than just for cookies. You can use them um, for clay. We did it, tried to do cake pops last time. Um, next yeah. time I have, I think we're going to feature our stencils next time. Um, but I did use a stencil this time with um, oh, the moon, which is in the oven. So anyway, so stay tuned. In a couple weeks, we're going to do another one. And I think we're going to do doormats that time, right? Do you think we are going to do that? Can we, do, can we do more cake pops? We will do those together, not on video. No, because that was, um, yeah, that was interesting. So anyways, yeah, so I think we're going to do doormats next time. Like custom doormats and then say whatever you want. Like, which better have my candy? That's what you want to say. Did you like candy? <laughs> uh, mine will probably just be something basic, like Merry Christmas or something, because Christmas is coming. Dun, dun, dun. Although, Halloween, I think I might just do mine that says, and have it say boot. For so. Christmas, I want some really cool face. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Can we say goodbye? Come up, can Mason, can you come over here and say goodbye? Bye. Come over here and say goodbye. Bye. All right. Thanks for joining us, and I'll we'll see you guys next time. I want what? to press <laughs> the end stream. Bye. Bye. There. <laughs>